Alright there people, this is Pels bringing you a, uh, what am I bringing you, a solo, well, I guess it's not exactly a strategy guide, it's a gameplay on the map, uh, Shino Numa. It's going to have some tips in it, but it's more of a fun gameplay, but don't worry, I will be giving out some tips for those of you who have the map. So let's get started. Ugh, stretch out, and I'm ready. So based on comments and feedback, I did ask in previous videos, um, basically what what did you want to see next? Because I'm happy to play any maps, and basically pretty much every map was uh, was named at least once. People wanted to see gameplay on. Um, there was a lot of response saying people wanted to see the classic maps, which is kind of a surprise. Um, but I guess maybe a lot of you don't have the maps. Unless you've got World at War. Um, so that's cool. And Shino Numa, uh, Shino Numa is possibly my favourite classic map. Um, I know Derise is is pretty awesome and it introduced Pack-a-Punch which obviously allows you to get to higher rounds. But I do like the simplicity of the maps like this one. Um, you know, just using the guns without them having extra, you know, extra damage and stuff. So, so that's cool. I'll go through this. So I got a lot of positive feedback on on my last strategy guide, which was uh, on Kino de Toten. Thanks for everyone who watched that. Uh, everyone who commented and or rated it. Really appreciate it. And hello to the people who recently subbed. Extremely happy, makes me happy when people subscribe, and I do read. I try and read every single comment. I don't get that many, so it's it's not that hard to to keep up. But I do read them, and thanks for everyone who's put in the comments. They like the videos. Um, I know quite a lot of the comments say uh, you like Syndicate. I like Syndicate as well. I'm subscribed to him. For anyone that's wondering, he's a bit of a pro, entertaining. For sure. Where are these guys? So yeah. Syndicate is a beast. I'm not trying to say I'm better than him, no way. <laughs> but I guess you could say I try and give more tips, which is always useful, if that's what you want. Ooh, insta-kill. Hooray. Um, sort of like I was gonna say something. Nah, it's gone. Whatever. Um, so fat. Wah! Ooh, max ammo. Interesting. I was gonna say first. I'm gonna pick up the Thompson off the wall here because it's. Is it 600? It's only 600 points. No. 1,200 points. Dup. Um. And it's got decent damage, it's good to start. And there's not that many doors and things to spend your money on in this map, so you can pick up any weapons really. I don't know where the last zombie is. But yeah, I like the Thompson. Whoa! There we go. Round three, hooray! Um. Ah. Get, let's get a thousand points and then we can open up this door. I like to open up the com room which is if you're upstairs you come straight down the stairs and it's here. I like to open up this door first because this is basically where I like to run a train. And trains are very necessary on a map without um, you know, pack a punch weapons because quite quickly your weapons will take a will take a lot of shots to kill. So having a train is pretty much necessary on those high rounds, and I, I prefer to do it in this area. There's a few other places you can do it, but you know, as always, this is just what I like to do. Oh yeah, I've got pistol ammo. 
Whoa. May as well use some of it. Don't want to get too crowded. Just go for headshots. Whoa! Could have downed a couple of times already. That would have been embarrassing. Jesus, these jump zombies keep jumping me. Scary. So, if you didn't know, the perk machines on this map are... There's four different kind of areas you can go to around the center building. And each one has a machine. And when you open the door to the machine, it randomly chooses one of the four. Yes! And we got lucky and it's Jug first. It could be any of them. But obviously the earlier you get Jug the better. And that's very useful. So now we'll just save up two and a half thousand and we can buy that. Um, if you do spawn the other perk machines there, I wouldn't advise buying the perks until you've gone around trying to find drugs. So you've got the com room, whatever out here is, I can't remember. Doctor's quarters and storage. So the four corners. I'm going to be a little, a little bit more daring in this video, a little bit more safe, or, uh, less safe than I normally am. I'll hit the random box a few times. But only because getting completely set up and into the strategy, you can actually do quite easily. Sometimes by round, I won't hit that, by round 10 or 12. So once I'm just running that, I might hit the box a few times. Spice things up for you guys, and for me. Ooh. So here I'm just going for headshots, because you get more points than body shots. And yeah, not much else to say about this. Saving up for drug. Uh, I'd be interested to see if you wouldn't mind the pe the people that if you're watching this video, if you could comment saying if you have like these old maps either on Black Ops ooh, or World at War. Um, because I'm interested to see how many people have them because whenever I go online to play zombies online in the matchmaking there's never more than about 20 people in each playlist excuse me which isn't that great basically because for some weird reason Treyarch won't release this map for download you have to have a uh, either the prestige or hardened edition of the game to get the code. Which is a bit of a bummer. I wouldn't mind if other people had the map. But I don't know. Maybe they're trying to keep it keep their word about it being excuse exclusive to those people. But come on, the game's been out quite a long time now. I don't think anyone would be too annoyed. Whatever. Reload. So, so we got Jug from the first machine. Um, next, what I do is when once there's not too many zombies, I'm just making most of the double points. Ooh, insta kill! I'm getting quite lucky today, aren't I? But yeah, we'll leave one zombie. You the last one, bro? Maybe. And the next one I like to open is this one here next to the rotating trap. Oh, fishing hut, that's what it's called. If you didn't know, this costs 750 and it spins around and basically wipes out all the zombies. It's quite cool. Yeah, we'll open up the second hut, see what perk it gives us. Oh, what's it gonna be? Slight of hand, please. Speed cola. Ah! 
I'm getting lucky today. So we'll buy that. I like to buy them in the order. Joggernaut, sleight of hand, quick revive, and then double tap. Because do 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 juggernauts obviously juggernaut is obviously um, really useful necessary ooh dragonfly um, sleight of hand is just nice it's useful if you get in cornered like you can reload fast and with dogs because they give a max ammo just spray them um, yeah quick revive obviously if you didn't know in solo it downs you if you go down sorry it picks you up you can buy it three times. But like I always say, I like to... I don't want to use all my ammo here, actually. I like to... Um, not buy it until... I'm kind of... It's kind of set up, so like if I down in an early round, I'd rather just restart the game. Does that make sense? I've said it before. I haven't recorded a live commentary in a little while. As usual, just been busy with real life stuff. But there, hopefully, there'll never be a, a week gap between my videos. And sometimes I do upload daily, so. But yeah, now we've got two perks. I'm going to open up either of the other doors, doesn't matter. Up to you. And we'll go towards our third perk. Areas like this aren't great to run trains because, as you can see, there's so much water. But. It's only round seven. And we've got Juggernaut and Sleight of Hand, so we should be able to hold them off. And I'm not going to pick up the nuke. Because I get more points from shooting them. Basically. So let's open up this. Um, I'd quite like Quick Revive now, please, if you're being nice, game. Wow. How lucky did I just get? You might not be so lucky. Oh, Max Hammer. You can either... Oh yeah, let's, let's turn on that. We can either... If you're not that confident in your zombies, you, I guess you could restart until you get Jug at the first machine. Or you can just hold out without it. It's a bit of luck involved, but... You should be able to survive. So yeah, we're just spraying these guys down. I would use my pistol, um, but for the sake of the video, it takes so long to empty the rounds in them. And like I said, there's not many that many things to buy, so we can open up all the doors. Um, where's the last one? Here it is, storage. Again, this isn't a good area to run a train, really. And I guess you could, but. Yeah. So we knew that was coming. 2000, we'll save up 2000. But I'm going to head back to my the area I like to run a train in and play out the next round. And up the points. Get tea bagged. I always get, I don't know about anyone else who's played this, I always get lost in this building here. Here we go. So we've only bought the Thompson so far, it's pretty good if you're in for the head. And I also I like playing with the old guns. Makes a nice change. Know what I mean? And the guns actually have recoil. I guess some of the guns on Black Ops do. I don't know what I'm talking about. Where are they spawning in? Seems to be all coming from the house. Whoa! Oop. Oh, getting a bit closed in here. And a bit of game lag. Uh, did anyone just see that zombie? So what I like to do is run around the outside of here because it's shallower water. And basically just run a loop around here. Past here. Spray him while we're here. 
What's that pick up? Instacure, I think. Uh, yeah, run through here, around here, and just run this all day. So I got to round, I think it was 33. I uploaded a short video of me failing. Yeah, instacure. Failing because of. Um, I had an instacure on round 33. And. Let's get this. And for some reason. Ooh, max ammo as well. Take it. For some reason, I just didn't see it running out and I got trapped in. And if you're knifing in a high round and insta-kill disappears, you are screwed if you get surrounded.